A Russian A-50 radar plane was shot down. The Russians attacked again with Iranian drones. Russia launched a new wave of Iranian-made drones against Ukrainian cities, breaking a week-long lull in such attacks, as its forces continue to tighten their grip around the embattled eastern city of Bakhmut. Ukraine's military said it shot down 11 out of 14 Iranian-made Shahed drones late Sunday and early Monday, including all nine that were aimed at the capital city of Kyiv. The remaining three drones, however, hit targets in the central city of Kamelnitsky, with explosions there killing two rescue workers and injuring three other people. According to the local government, Russia also fired S-300 missiles at the southern city of Zaporizhia overnight, hitting an infrastructure site but causing no casualties, the local government said. The Ukrainian Air Force notes that the Russians are now using Iranian-made Shahed attack drones to track down and deplete Ukrainian air defense systems. Yuri Inat, spokesperson for the Air Force of Ukraine on air with the 24 TV channel, told it. He said, previously, they were used more in combination with missiles. Now they are exhausting the air defense system, identifying the locations. The same A-50 radar plane takes off when we conduct combat work against the Shahed UAVs. It records the launch sites of our anti-aircraft missile systems. This way, they discover and create an algorithm of where we shoot from, how we move, etc. Inat clarified that unlike previous times, this night Russia launched Iranian drones not from the eastern coast of the Sea of Azov, but from the Bryansk Oblast. Hours earlier, a drone attack on a military airfield near the Belarusian capital of Minsk knocked out a Russian A-50 airborne early warning and control plane, one of only a handful in Russia's arsenal, according to Belarus's opposition. The strike on Makolishi airfield was carried out by two Belarusian partisans, said Franak Vyakorka, an advisor to the country's exiled opposition leader, Vyatlana Sikanuskaya. While Moscow hasn't commented on the attack, Russian military officers and analysts on social media confirmed that a serious incident had occurred at the airfield. <laughs>